Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video I've filmed in this one day. So if you just watched my what's on my purse and saw me wearing this exact same outfit, that is why. But this time I'm going to show you what is inside my makeup bag. Now, right now I can't get it to close, but I don't usually travel so much with this because it won't fit inside my purse, which if you haven't watched that, I will leave a link somewhere up here, down there, anywhere, so you can watch what's inside my purse, which is this one from Loungefly. But I don't carry this with me. I usually just keep it in my bathroom. But I thought I would show you what I would wear on like a normal makeup day. Now right now I don't have any makeup on because I just got off work and I work with kids. So I don't usually put in the effort to um, put on makeup. And I actually cooked today at work so it would just have gotten all sweaty and gross anyway. But so this bag we got at like something like Francesca's or something like that but it was it's just like a knick-knack cute like antique looking store but this is one I usually carry my makeup in if I am traveling and have to do my makeup somewhere else but I will show you what I normally wear on like a normal makeup day but my go-to palette at the moment is the Lorac 3 palette I think and it's just it's more like rose gold goldy colors so this is what it looks like my go-to colors would normally be if I can show it to you all um, this one which is pink nude this one which is called amethyst and I usually go for some, one of these like rose goldy gold colors which are medallion almond pearl and light gold so those are what I normally go for um, the next thing inside, which are actually my two at the moment go-to lip colors, and that is Moon from the Kylie Lipstick Lip Kit Collection. I don't know. I have several of these, but this one at the moment is my go-to color. My other favorite one is from, I'm trying to figure out what, Maybelline, that's what it is. And it is number 681 Vibrant Violet, which looks like this. Now, it really is quite vibrant. And to be truthfully honest, I wore it one time and it dyed my lips like pink. And they were like, I'm trying to like find something I could show you about how pink they were. They were like this color pink. <laughs> For like a day and a half so that was great um the next thing that's in here is my foundation and I actually just bought this and the only reason I bought this specific one was because I was going for the Smashbox sorry <laughs> heard a noise Smashbox 24 hour 15 hour whatever it is foundation and I got color matched and I was too pale for all the colors so, was bad. so I got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in the lightest color called porcelain and usually the brush I use it with is this Real Techniques um, stippling stippling brush so that's what these two things are then I have my MAC paint pot, which I use for my like base of my eyeshadow. And this is just in painterly. It's like the, the nude color. I've had this for years. It's kind of to the point that it's like coming off on the sides. <coughs> and then I have my concealer, which is the um, Maybelline instant age rewind in fair I have my powder which is a Neutrogena like um, translucent powder and I use the powder brush from Real Techniques and then I have my Smashbox contour palette which Oh, there's two different colors. 
like two different shades and I just got the light shade which looks like this and I don't use it all that much because I'm not the best at contouring um, and I actually don't have my contour brush in here but I usually use the Real Techniques which this is not sponsored at all I'm just putting that out there um, expert face brush to kind of like blend it out a little bit because the contour brush I have is not very good and then I have my Real Techniques concealer brush that I use to blend out the concealer as well as these three eyeshadow brushes the base shadow brush and deluxe crease brush crease brush from Real Techniques and then this is a Sonia Cashew I think is how you say it number 20 brush that I use to kind of blend it all out um and then this is the bag when it's it's backwards but it says messy hair don't care and because I'm using the forward facing so I can see it um and it's just polka dotted inside so that's all that this looks like but yes this is all that was inside of I'm probably getting makeup all over the place but I can't hold it all in one picture but this is basically you know what was inside what I wouldn't normally use on a makeup day um, maybe one day I will do like a get ready with me video but it's kind of hard to film with my iPhone which I've only filmed a couple videos with but I do have another camera over there that I could film it with if I absolutely had to which is more high-tech but it's so much more to set up so um, thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching this and got some ideas for different things um, I might do a Kylie lip kit collection video um, to show you what I do have. Um, this one, let me pull it out for you real quick so I can show you. This is like a purpley brownish grayish color, but, um, it's, um, just, you know, it's very cool and it's kind of getting to the point that these like dark neutral colors are like out because it's getting warmer outside as you can see I have a tank top it's going to be like 80 today which is great because it's been super cold where I live but um this was like my go-to like winter color um but I will do a lip kit collection so you can kind of see what I do and do not have um but thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my what's in my makeup bag um if you have any questions about like where I got some of the stuff or what I use like on like a full glamour um leave that down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching bye I want so much more than they've got planned